Red fuming nitric acid is a storable oxidizer used as a rocket propellant. It consists of 84% nitric acid, 13% dinitrogen tetroxide and 1-2% water. The color of red fuming nitric acid is due to the dinitrogen tetroxide, which breaks down partially to form nitrogen dioxide. The nitrogen dioxide dissolves until the liquid is saturated and evaporates off into fumes with a suffocating odor. RFNA increases the flammability of combustible materials and is highly exothermic when reacting with water. It is usually used with an inhibitor because nitric acid attacks most container materials. It can also be a component of a monopropellant, with substances like amine nitrates dissolved in it. It can be used as the sole fuel in a rocket. It is not normally used used this way however. During World War II, the German military used RFNA in some rockets. The mixtures used were called S-Stoff and SV-Stoff and nicknamed Salbe. Inhibited RFNA was the oxidizer of the world's most launched light orbital rocket, the Cosmos 3M. Other uses for RFNA include fertilizers, dye intermediates, explosives, and pharmaceuticals as acidifier. It can also be used as a laboratory reagent in photo engraving and metal etching compositions. IRFNA IA 83.4% HNO3, 14% NO2, 2% H2O, 0.6% HF. IRFNA IVHDA 54.3% HNO3, 44% NO2, 1% H2O, 0.7% HF. Estoff 96% HNO3, 4% iron 3 chloride. SV Stoff 94% HNO3, 6% N2O4. AK-20, 80% HNO3, 20% N2O4. AK-20F, 80% HNO3, 20% N2O4, fluorine-based inhibitor. AK-20I, 80% HNO3, 20% N2O4, iodine-based inhibitor. AK-20K, 80% HNO3, 20% N2O4, fluorine-based inhibitor. AK27I, 73% HNO3, 27% N2O4, iodine-based inhibitor. AK27P, 73% HNO3, 27% N2O4, fluorine-based inhibitor. Experiments. Hydrofluoric acid content of RFNA. When RFNA is used as an oxidizer for rocket fuels, it usually has a HF content of about 0.6%. The purpose of the HF is to act as a corrosion inhibitor. RFNA was tested for HF with a standard solution containing 12% of NO2 or in a density of 1.57. These experiments were performed using an electrometric method. It was determined that the hydrofluoric acid content was about 0.5% by weight. This is very close to the usually 0.6% in rocket fuels. Water content of RFNA. To test the water content, a sample of 80% HNO3, 8-20% to NO2, and the rest H2O depending on the varied amount of NO2 in the sample. When the RFNA contained HF, there was an average H2O percent between 2.4% and 4.2%. When the RFNA did not contain HF, there was an average H2O percent between 0.1% 5.0%. When the metal impurities from corrosion were taken into account, the H2O% percent increased, and the H2O% percent was between 2.2% and 8.8% corrosion of metals in RFNA. Stainless steel, aluminium alloys, iron alloys, chrome plates, tin, 
Gold and tantalum were tested to see how RFN affected the corrosion rates of each. Experiments were performed using 16% and 6.5% RFNA samples and the different substances listed above. Many different stainless steels showed resistance to corrosion. Aluminium alloys did not hold up as well as stainless steels especially in high temperatures but the corrosion rates were not high enough to prohibit the use of this with RFNA. Tin, gold and tantalum showed high corrosion resistance similar to that of stainless steel. These materials are better though because at high temperatures the corrosion rates did not increase much. Corrosion rates at elevated temperatures increase in the presence of phosphoric acid. Sulfuric acid decreased corrosion rates.